Major sponsors for Ableton On Air include Green Mountain Support Services of Vermont, Washington County Mental Health, Ale Israel. Food sponsors for Ableton On Air include Geffen Foods Israel, Osem Foods Israel. Major media sponsors for Ableton On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, U.S. Press Corps, Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Welcome to this edition of Ableton On Air, the one and only program that focuses on the needs, concerns, and achievements of the differently able. I'm your host, Lauren Seiler, and Arlene is here. Hi, Arlene. I'm Arlene Seiler. Okay. Uh, on, on this edition, we focus on the uh, wildfires. Um, the wildfires have been really extremely horrible um, when it comes to people with special needs. Um, let's go straight. Um, uh, what is your take on the wildfires, Arlene? Well, I think that, that um, they're very dangerous and they're getting worse and and all this smoke, you know, and it's horrible for them to breathe. It's so bad, you know, or something. But um, but is Israel went to help them, to help them with this wildfires, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Israel um, has been great helping people with coronavirus, helping people with the wildfires. Um, they sent their firefighters and people from the army, uh, from the IDF to to go to um, Israel, you know, to come from Israel to help with the wildfires. So let's go straight in to, according to the Los Angeles Times. Now this is an old California has been always having problems with the with wildfires um, since this began, uh, you know, years and years ago. So according to the Los Angeles Times, California wildfires left the disabled in peril. This uh, article is dated uh, September 28th, 2015. And according to the Los Angeles Times, um, and we can pop up the article uh, while I'm talking about, um, talking about this, um, Kelseyville, California, um, a particular person named Marion uh, Bunting, 72 has Parkinson's disease and is a caretaker, and she she had not smelled smoke nor has she received warning about the Valley Fire. A lot of these um, um, fires have been happening in the valley, in the forest, um, now in the mountains. In the mountains. Um, yeah. Many people um, have been evacuating. Uh, you know, it's just extremely horrible. Um, now, here's the thing. According to the 2015 article, of 4.8 Calif million Californians identify as disabled. 4.8 million Californians who have identified as disabled, about 30% are 65 or older. Um, and in... in uh, certain counties, um, certain, ca you know, where fires are beginning, uh, uh, residents are seniors. So 4.8 million Californians identify as disabled. Um, that number probably jumped up over the years. But um, according to several news reports, um, CBS, NBC, Today Show, um, you can't breathe smoke. It's extremely horrible for you to breathe smoke. Um, so, um, so here's the thing. As of two uh, two years ago, so in other words, 2013, Assemblyman Stephen Cooley, I mean, sorry, uh, Ken Cooley of Cordova, California, press legislation requiring those populations, uh, people with uh, disabilities, be, uh, let me see here, let me go back, 
uh, legislation for those populations to be integrated into every aspect of California's update and its state emergency plan. California has an emergency plan. Um, the update was delayed, um, but they were they were kind of gone. They were kind of going from disaster to disaster. Uh, in Lake County, California, a, a couple of years ago in 2015, the fires moved so fast that alerts and evacuation systems broke down, giving county official, officials no time to deploy accessible vans to, uh, to a ferry and for those who are in need. And did during the two previous fires that past summer. There were deaths. A 72-year-old woman and, uh, of multiple sclerosis trapped in her home and three men, this is 2015, uh, over the age of 65, two of whom miscalculated the fire and decided to stay put. If you are in a fire, you do not stay put. Um, um, the fire in California moved more slowly, and people who died were seniors. One, a one-leg, 65-year-old man who remained uh, to protect his property, and an 82-year-old man who a friend said had become depressed and increasingly immobile. Okay, so the the thing is, um, if you see a fire, um, it um, you must. Uh, leave your home immediately. Um, it you should not stay put. Um, if you know the old stop, drop, and roll, do that. Um, if you see a fire or your clothes catch on fire, um, it is never good to um, stay put. Um, no, you can't. You can't. You can't be killed. You know you, your life is more important. Mm hmm. Um. According to the Common Ground Senior Services, the area's Meals on Wheels provider was uh, summoned by emergency officials in 2015 to, to aid eva uh, eva evacuations with the wheelchair accessible van, while local power transit companies de deployed a bus with adult protective services workers alongside them and they evac and they evacuated two mobile homes um parks and senior apartment complexes schmidt uh schmidt said schmidt uh at s c h m i t d t d t um a person by the name of schmidt um and they launched a frantic search for lodging for those too fr fragile to stay at the Red Cross shelters. Um, we're going to give a number for the American Red Cross at the end of this program uh, for those who need it. Um, for batteries, to keep oxygen tanks working, and more. Disability rights advocates in California have been pressing for better disaster planning for years when the 2000 when the 2007 wildfire season was in California provided more um, provided more impetus um, a report by the Paloma based Center for Disability Issues and the health professions noted that the deaf community have been not receiving emergency notifications um, for the wildfires. And it also goes on to say from the Los Angeles Times um, that people have been been getting evacuated with their power, wheelchairs, and shelters, uh, and they have trouble accommodating those with medical conditions. Most disasters response systems are designed for people who can walk, see, run, drive, read, hear, and quickly understand and respond to instructions and alerts from the fire department, the report said. Um, so here's the thing. If you can follow instructions, 
uh, or if you are a person with a disability who has problems following instructions, you, you know, you should be receiving help uh, for that. Uh, yeah, so they have, the, um, basically, I can pull that up. Uh, if you are deaf and hard of hearing, matter of fact, let me pull that up here. Um, if you're deaf and hard of hearing in a building, there there are such things as different fire fire alarms. Hold on. Whoops. Hearing fire alarms. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, yeah, so if you are, um, there's special fire alarms. Smoke alarms are available for people who are deaf. Those that are profound, with profound hearing loss, these alarms use strobe lights to wake the person. So um, maybe in a couple of weeks we'll have somebody in here from the Montpelier Fire Department. That's a good idea. Um, to explain how um, a person who is deaf um, has problems with uh uh, fire. So, <clears throat> smoke alarms, safety tips here. Um, smoke alarms are available for people who are deaf, those who are with profound hearing loss. These alarms use strobe lights to wake the person. Now, if the person has epilepsy, then the person has to move away from the strobes. Um, those with mild and severe hearing loss can use a device that emits a that, that emits or gives off a low-pitched sound, okay? So, um, if, yeah, if you're near a fire, basically, um, and there's someone else there, they can tell you to crouch down low. Um, several years ago, I visited, a long time ago, I visited a Bronx firehouse, and they actually showed me how a uh, person with a disability goes, um, in and out of a fire safely. What if, uh, what if you're blind? Then they then they have um, fire alarms that have uh, you know high pitched sounds so you can hear it. So they there's different types of fire alarms, Arlene, that can help um, people with severe disabilities. Uh, but in terms of the wildfires, um, it's you know, a really, really, really um, bad time right now. First, you have COVID. Um, you know, you have a president who lies. Now you have these wildfires. So, um, you know, as a matter of fact, um, there's a company, going back to the wildfires, um, there's a company called Maxi Aids, and they're, they're located at www.maxiaids.com. Um, there are smoke detectors for the blind. Much like carbon monoxide detectors, every single home needs a, uh, a smoke detector. Maxi Aids smoke detectors, or some certain companies with smoke detectors. Um, you know, you can get smoke detectors that have carbon monoxide uh, thing, you know, with them. Basically, if you're blind, it it gives off a um, large sound. Or if you're deaf, uh, you can have a special light that can um, kind of help you move out of the fire. Um, so if you want that information for special smoke detectors, I can't give you the price on air, but if you, if, if you want... Um, uh, this, uh, this, um, special website, www.maxiaids.com, and you can go to, um, get special smoke detectors. Um, and it's just extremely important to be, um, uh, to get help within a fire, um, or emergency situation. Um, getting back to, since we have about 15 minutes, let's, uh, go back into the COVID situation. Now that we are hitting the Jewish holidays, um, 
I know this show is probably going to air um, in about two weeks. Uh, but the Jewish holidays are uh, hitting. And as of Friday, the Prime Minister of um, Israel, matter of fact, we can bring up a map. Um, let's uh, go into a map here of, the, of Israel uh, with coronavirus. And they're, they're having COVID-19 in Israel. Um, they're having extremely problems with um, be careful the sound on your phone. Huh? Careful the sound on your phone, please. Um, so um, Israel, according to Microsoft, let's look up um, there's, uh, according to COVID-19 um, tracker, Israel has 166,794 um, mm -hmm. deaths, or uh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, not deaths, uh, uh, cases, okay? So 166,794, now active cases, 42,000. 862 people that recovered okay people that recovered from um covid in israel 122,785 and fatal cases are those that have um other complications such as pneumonia along with covid 1147 uh situations with COVID. Now, according to the map um, here, okay, uh, there, um, well, first let's go into this. According to U.S. News and World Report, okay, Israel, as of this Friday, as of this Friday, will go into a second lockdown. This Friday, the 18th, with uh, Rosh Hashanah around the corner, the Jewish New Year. Um, according to U.S. News and World Report, Israel to impose second nas nationwide lockdown amid uh, coronavirus surge. Israel will enter its second lockdown as of Friday after resurgent for the coronavirus. Israel Prime Minister Benjamin, Benjamin Netanyahu announced um, this past Sunday. The country will close schools, dine-in restaurants, malls, hotels, entertainment venues for at least three weeks. Okay? Indoor gatherings will be limited to 10 people. Outdoor gatherings can have up to 20 people. Residents will be required to stay within 500 meters of their homes. That means you can't go far. Okay? Um, these measures, according to Netanyahu's office, these measures are an exact heavy price on us all. Um, this is not the kind of holiday season we are used to. And we are certainly hope n not to celebrate. Uh, we, we, we won't be able to celebrate with our extended families. So... Um, the reason why Israel has all this is because, according to the map, what Netanyahu did was put certain dots, certain places. So um, Israel has a lot of people who are extremely orthodox and religious. The, um, the Hasidim uh, Orthodox sect, um, uh, please... Anybody in Israel or anybody in America, if you are Orthodox Jewish, do not go to a wedding with 5,000 people. Um, uh, I know that's a little bit um, exaggerating, but uh, to be, you know, but this is freedom of the press or freedom of speech. Please, please, we ask you um, to stay um, within limits, and if you're going to have uh, a uh, catered affair, wedding, bar mitzvah, bris, uh, uh, birthday party. If you're going to have a catered affair and enjoy yourself, 
please keep it under 100 people. Um, it is not uh, very, very, it's not extremely safe um, to have um, parties at this time. Um, the reason why Israel is so scared is that, um, and especially because it's very hot there, um, you know, um, people need to be extra cautious, wear a mask, take a bath, take care of yourself uh, physically and mentally. Um, if, the, you know, they're going to constantly close the country if people just don't, just don't listen. Um, you know, personal hygiene is extremely important during the coronavirus. Um, everybody must keep themselves clean. Um, you know, use hand sanitizer. Um, take care of yourself. Take care of your body. Um, if you need mental health counseling during this, especially here in Vermont, um, it, Washington County Mental Health can really help you. Um, and I'll get to American Red Cross in a minute. Um, but uh, Washington County Mental Health can be reached at www.wcmhs.org. Uh, They're one of our sponsors, um, Able Then On Air. So please... Please use them uh, if you are um, extremely depressed during this time of coronavirus or, or you need um, extreme help uh, during this. Uh, you can go to www.wcmhs.org um, during uh, coronavirus. Anything you want to say with coronavirus or the wildfires? Arlene, we have um, six minutes to go. Yeah, I would say that with this wildfires, you know, people have to stay uh, protected, you know. Mm -hmm. With this coronavirus, you know, people should look all over. You shouldn't be eating while you're talking to me, but go ahead. Um, I would say, you know, keep yourself safe during this coronavirus and um, always, always, you know, have hand sanitizer with you, and always uh, wear a mask, mm -hmm. and don't cough on each other, keep, you know, your distance. Yeah, and no one's don't listening. No. And keep, and always um, keep your clothes clean and wash your hair, and, and keep, you keep your body clean if you're coughing, cough in the mask, you know, if you're wearing one. Mm -hmm. If not coughing, you see, but stay healthy and always have hand sanitizer in you and, and always like, you know, don't have any hostages during this time, you know. Don't have any what? You know, don't, don't have any hostages, like, like simchas, you know, don't have any. You don't, know, don't have weddings. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, do a, do a wedding by. Right now. Mm -hmm. uh, put them off till like next year or sometime and just wait, you know. Mm -hmm. Just wait until everything gets back to normal then you could do it but wait uh wait a wait a, another year or so and things get back to normal and then things you know well what is normal they they said that this thing is supposed to be uh this thing is supposed this thing is supposed to be um for about two years you know as far as coronavirus is concerned uh, i know i know this is going to come over this year yeah well, I mean, Israel Israel has come up with cures for basically everything. Uh, cures for blindness, cures for... Um, there's, um, there's a device again. Uh, well, yeah. There's a device again. I'm going to mention it to our uh, listening audience and viewing audience. Uh, there's something called the rewalk, um, which if you are... Which... If you are a vet, can you stop with the wrestling papers? Um, if if you are a veteran or you someone that cannot walk, um, you can, um, uh, you know, log on to YouTube. They have something called the rewalk. It ba it basically crutches for your legs, but it helps you walk. I mean, it's a really um, fantastic device. Um, 
Yeah, it depends because it is very expensive. Anyway, I just want to say um, happy and healthy New Year and happy to ha- happy Jewish holidays to all who celebrate uh, during this festive time. I know it's um, extremely hard during the wildfires and during uh, coronavirus at this time. Again, Abel Dunn here would like to thank um, our sponsors, Anchor FM. Uh, we are our podcast is on Anchor FM. And, uh, and Spotify, and also we would like to thank Washington County Mental Health, Green Mountain Support Services, and many other sponsors during this uh, time. Thank you for sponsoring um, such a great show, Able Then On Air. Um, uh, uh, next time, we w- within two weeks, we will have an election special um, uh, for Able Then On Air. We will discuss how uh, the um, elections are going to affect people with disabilities and um, how um, we can get Trump out of office because Trump isn't really doing anything for people with disabilities. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, again, we would like to thank uh, our major sponsors, Green Mountain Support Services and Washington County Mental Health for uh, Able to Learn Air, and you can find uh, Able to Learn Air podcast at Anchor FM and Spotify. Uh, this puts an end to this edition of Able to Learn Air. I'm Lauren Siler. I'm Lauren See you next time. Major sponsors for Able Done On Air include Green Mountain Support Services of Vermont, Washington County Mental Health, Ale Israel. Food sponsors for Able Done On Air include Geffen Foods Israel, Osem Foods Israel. Major media sponsors for Able Done On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info Associated Press Media Editors U.S. Press Corps Domestic and International Anchor FM and Spotify